Hey, what business you have here? I'm talking. You better just get out of here. Look, friend. I can pass through I'll here if I I'll raise hell if I have to. <clears throat> you kill fire to Come on, man. Settle down. <clears throat> Red Dead Redemption 2 is an absolutely massive game, and even if you completely ignore the story, you can easily spend dozens upon dozens of hours just messing about in its giant open world. In spite of the slew of activities on offer though, regardless of how you like playing games, there are some things that all Red Dead Redemption 2 players eventually find themselves doing at some point, or several. In this feature, we're going to talk about a few things Red Dead Redemption 2 players are all guilty of. Do note, there are spoilers ahead for Red Dead Redemption 2, so proceed at your own risk. <laughs> Saying hey there, mister, to every NPC. Hi there, mister. Go away. Red Dead Redemption 2's contextual dialogue choice system is one of its most dominant features, and your primary way of interacting with the game's world, but most players end up using it way more than they need to. Having Arthur walk through a town while spamming the greet button to watch him say hello there and hi there and hey there mister to every single person around him is the very definition of pointless, but something we cannot help but keep doing. Antagonizing every NPC of course, we can't always be the nice, honorable outlaw. That's kind of built into the whole outlaw concept, after all. And so spamming the antagonize option can be just as fun as obsessively greeting people, if not more. It helps that Arthur's dialogue when you're trying to piss off people for no good reason can often be hilarious, which means that antagonizing NPCs and getting into fights with them over practically nothing is always a ton of fun. Going on a murderous rampage for no reason. If you're playing an open world game made by Rockstar and do not at one point go on a murderous rampage just because, well, you're doing it wrong. You might not have access to tanks or choppers or rocket launchers here the way that you do in GTA, but Arthur's tools are enough to bring an entire town and its law to heal nonetheless. Of course, creating a pile of bodies during said murderous rampage will not do your honor meter any favors, so maybe make a separate save file before you fire the first shot. Lassoing people and dragging them behind your horse. There's plenty of ways to be a jackass to people in Red Dead Redemption 2, but perhaps the most fun one is using your lasso, which is true for the first game as well. Tying someone up on a whim and then riding your horse at full speed while the poor random NPC crashes into the ground, the trees, the rocks, and what have you, is strangely and gruesomely fun. obsessively cleaning your horse. It's hard to think of a game that builds up as much of a bond between player and horse as Red Dead Redemption 2, which manifests itself in several ways in gameplay as well. For instance, making sure that your horse is always clean is one of the many mechanics to keep in mind in this game, and while it's by no means crucial, we can't help but make sure that our horse is in the best shape possible. Every chance we get, we like to brush our horse's mane until it's completely bright and shiny doing all the chores in the camp. Arthur spends a lot of time in the gang's camp throughout the course of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is good because it's a great environment to just chill out in. There's plenty to do here as well, including chores to help out around the camp. And while that's no one's definition of fun, we can't help but do these activities every time we get the chance. Feeding the horses, chopping up wood, moving the buckets of water, whatever it is. It helps that that affects Arthur's honor meter as well, but we would probably have done all that stuff anyway. Robbing all stagecoaches. Hey there. Hello. Shit. He's going for the Red Dead Redemption 2's side activities give players plenty of chances to live out their perfect Old West fantasies, and robbing stagecoaches is perhaps one of the best of these optional activities. Every encounter is usually an absolute thrill, with Arthur holding up a stagecoach and its guards with a bandana covering his face, and it helps that these are also usually quite dynamic, which means you never know how a robbery might go. 
Looting stagecoaches is also a great way of netting decent amounts of cash pretty quickly, which is just icing on the cake. Keeping your hat on. Arthur Morgan's hat is iconic. No, not Aiden Pierce iconic, actually iconic. And we don't know about you, but we make sure that Arthur never leaves his hat off. After every firefight, after every brawl, after every blistering fast horse ride, if Arthur ever loses his hat, we make sure that he puts it right back on. And of course, right at the end, as John is climbing up the mountain to kill Micah and avenge Arthur's death, if you don't have him wear Arthur's hat, you're doing it wrong. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Trying to shoot Micah. <coughs> Let's get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. If there's one thing that all Red Dead Redemption 2 players can agree on, it's that Micah is the absolute worst. The very first moment he appears on screen, you can tell that he's a slimy dirtbag, and that's an impression he keeps living up to and surpassing throughout the entire game. And yes, you do get to kill him as John right at the end, but we have all tried to pull a gun on him before that at least once, and probably a lot more than once. <laughs> You shot me pretty good. <laughs> Hating the sheep herding missions. It wouldn't be Red Dead Redemption without sheep herding missions, and there's surely some of those in Red Dead 2 as well. And just as they were in the first game, they're a complete chore in this one. When you think of playing a massive open world game set in the Old West where you play as an outlaw on the run, having to herd sheep is the last thing you expect to do. Staring at the beautiful clouds. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a stunning game. It's almost surprising just how stunning it is, especially given its staggering size. And while there's a lot to gawk at in this game, the one thing that really stands out is, weirdly enough, the clouds. That might sound strangely specific, but if you've ever taken a single look at dense, dark clouds rolling in from the distance while lightning crackles amongst them, you know exactly what we're talking about. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.